Okay, so again, setup wise, like I say, was a pretty good start point there. Just that thing with the right elbow there, just to make sure that's sort of sitting outwards a bit, getting that kind of hammer grip position so your elbow can bend correctly. If the elbow's turned in, it often puts a shoulder forward, it's your shoulder alignment aiming to the left, okay? So this one on the right hand side, you've got a good spot there. Taking the club away though, initially the club would go back, you could sort of see almost like the elbow sort of started to split out this way, sort of the bend in there, okay? Sort of bend, sorry. And this arm, so you're kind of going back and this is already starting to happen, sort of splitting your elbows apart. The club now whips a long way inside, gets very open at this point. And as the club now progresses in the backswing, it's very laid off. And now you've got to start bringing that golf club back up to some kind of plane, which you do. But in the act of doing that, there's your backswing sort of swing plane there. And then on the downswing, we're coming back there. So you're changing the angle quite a lot there, okay? In an ideal world, they'll be a lot close together. If anything, going back a bit above and then coming down underneath. Where you are is fine, it doesn't matter, but I don't want that gap to be too big, all right? So if we go back to there where you were, and then we look at this one here now. So in terms of the takeaway, if we watch this movement here, now you can sort of see your arms and elbows working back more as one there, yeah? So this position here now, the arms are maintaining the sort of length they had to start with, that structure's there, and the club now is less behind you, and the hands are effectively at the same height, the thigh higher. Then as we go back into the backswing, to the angle of that club shaft now, not quite as flat and laid off. So therefore, when you come back to the golf ball, the angle there now is not as greatly changed. Okay, so what you don't want to be doing is sort of going in here and then doing that, because if you go in and up over the top, how much of this movement over the top you go will vary and if you're not careful then you'll start coming down a bit steep across it big pulls or big old slice to the right okay more so obviously with the big clubs okay so as that club is coming back down now we're looking for a point here near now where this club is matched up with your right forearm well there's your right forearm and if we go back the club is basically about there it's in a pretty good spot yeah so the club's sort of matching up there to your your arms to the club shaft Next frame about there now is on that line. Next frame down, it's probably somewhere between as you come into the low point now. We can see this club shaft now nicely this side of the golf ball. You have been, I was guilty in the past of having the club at this point out there. And that's only going to lead to sort of a uh, basic combination of sort of three shots, either big pulls left, big slices or the unmentionables. Yeah, <laughs> if the club's too far out there, yeah. And or I suppose in combination of all that, especially with the driver, if it skies up in the top there and there's really, really high shots, okay? So keeping that club working nice and hit the shoulders there just for impact. Nice bit of target, okay? And the connection through the ball. Now there's a nice kind of like compact look to this sort of swing as you come through. It all looks a little bit more in here this way as opposed to <laughs> and a bit uh, armsy and gamey and lots of things moving. And again, only thing I'd say with the height, maintain that height as you go back you sort of drop and rise up a little bit that's within for me a window of where i want to be okay because you kind of stay from where you started here top of your head you kind of stay there the fact you go down and up a little bit is such a marginal amount okay what we don't want to be doing though is from here it's kind of going from there and then you going down and staying down too long and then having to sort of start coming back up on the way back down yeah if you're going to start here we say turn taller yeah keep the height there Things are going to stay in a more connected position here. What we don't want to do is go here on the way down and then do this on the way up. That, again, is going to lend itself to some, some variables, certainly, OK? But in terms of the gap wedge, I think just grip down it, yeah? Make it a little bit shorter. Um, we saw the gap there. The distance was nice. Obviously, you've got to commit to the shot you're going to hit. We don't want to be half-hearted hitting shots, as you saw with that shot a minute ago, OK? But the main focus now is this take. If the club goes back and you've got an alignment stick through here... You can see that stick now is staying on your leg there all the way through in this first motion, okay? Whereas if we did it this way, we can zoom in it's come off, in it? <laughs> yeah, and the stick's over here somewhere, yeah? Okay, mate? Yeah. Good stuff, right? Okay.